Okay, for this uh, question, William wanted to pack 45 oranges and 50 guavas into as many bags as possible. As many bags as possible, most number. With no remainder. Okay, so we know that definitely the number of fruits in each bag all right, must be a factor, right? Of 45 or a factor of 50. Am I right or wrong? Correct? Okay. He packed the same number of fruit in each bag. Maybe this is the part that gives you some confusion. Okay, when he say same number of fruit, it doesn't mean that uh, you have equal number of oranges and guavas. If you think about it logically, right, there's no way. If you have the same number of bags, right, you cannot have the same number of fruits in each bag. Correct or wrong? Okay? So, since you have, that, uh, you have uh, the same number of bags, the number of oranges and guavas in each bag will be different. Logically, okay. Now, they already say that the number of oranges in each bag was the same. If the number of oranges in each bag was the same, that means the number of guavas in each bag is the same as well. But does not mean that the number of oranges is equal to the number of guavas in each bag. Okay. So let's come up with the listing of the factors for forty-five and ninety. Forty-five will be one times forty-five. Okay, 3 times 15, 5 times 9, anything else? No, right? For 50, we have 1 times 50, 2 times 25, 5 times 10, anything else? No, we want, that, uh, we want the maximum number of bags. So we need to look from the biggest to the smallest, right? Biggest to the smallest number. So 45 don't have, 15 don't have, 9 don't have. So the biggest is 5. Okay? And the biggest number, the 5, right, represent the number of bags, right? Yes or no? So this will actually represent the number of bags. Okay? And then 9 in this case stands for the number of oranges. And 10 in this case stands for the number of guavas. How many oranges were there in each bag? Very simple, it's 9. Okay, I think this is mainly an interpretation of the question. But of course, we must apply some kind of logic in it. Uh, okay, some uh, little bit of logic and common sense. Yes, Yun Chong? Easier? Is it easier, easier? Okay. Looks good. I like it. So what he did was, he actually. I mean, uh, I'm serious when I say I like it. Ah, uh. not trying to be funny or what. Uh. Wait, let's see. He didn't use that. Okay, so he actually. You understand what he's trying to do? No? When you simplify it, you actually get the number of bags what? And the number of fruits. I think this is a good method. You all understand, right? Okay. Oh, sorry. I hate this. Okay. There's a difference between how Yun Chong present. Uh, and this is rubbish. Rubbish, zero marks. I show you. One look, you agree with me. Okay, this is Yun Chong uh, perfectly fine, no, no mistakes. Okay, your 45 oranges equals to 9 oranges. Your 45 oranges plus 50 guavas equals to your 9 oranges plus 10 guavas. This is the one that I would immediately give zero. Uh. Okay. Okay, in exam. Okay, I'll immediately give zero. Any anyone who wants to show me a different alternative? Okay, personally I like Yun Chong's method. Anyone else? No? Okay, so uh, let's uh, go back to 
Question 3, no problem. Let's look at question 4. Anyone has any problem? Question 4. Question 5. 5? Okay, let's look at question 5. Now, a shop has had a number of tablets for sale. After selling 32 of them in the morning, and four over knife in the afternoon. Okay, it was left with one fifth of the tablets. Okay, how many tablets were sold all together? So this is the number of tablets for sale. We know that he sold thirty-two of them in the morning. Okay, this is morning. And then four over knife. When you see four over knife, is four over knife of the total, right? Okay, four over knife of the total. So if you want to uh, say four over knife of the total, you can convert four over nine and one fifth to common denominator, right? Correct. Yeah. Wrong. So five and nine. What's the common denominator, Kaden? Forty-five. Okay, then I'm starting to catch you already. Uh. Get ready. Uh. Okay. So, this would be actually 16, right? 20. Sorry, 20. Yes? Okay. From this, we know that all together I have 45 units in which 20 units is sold in the afternoon. Sorry, my uh, model is a bit out of proportion. So I have 9 units left. Correct? Anyone has any problem so far? So, now, how many units is actually equals to 32, Ernest? Sixteen units. Do you know how you get sixteen units? Yeah. Forty-five minus twenty minus nine, right? Okay. So you know that one unit equals to two. How many tablets were sold all together? I need to find twenty units. Okay, which is forty. So thirty-two plus forty equals to seventy-two. Okay, this one, I don't think I need any other alternative solution. Sometimes I'm open-minded to listening to other, but this one, I don't, I don't need anything. Kind of thing, yep. the, you didn't do it in terms of fraction? Then you do it in terms of... Sorry? You can do it in terms of fraction, one whole minus... Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like okay. Yeah. Okay, it's the same. It's roughly the same, but I don't really like that method. Yeah, I don't like that method. Anyone else any, any problem? It's okay the one, two, and one more person raised their hand just now, somewhere around here. Yeah. Understand what's wrong? I thought the four nine is the, the, the leftover. Okay. Can no problem then let's look at question six. Question six, any problem? Six. Question seven. Seven. Okay, let's go through question seven. Now we have triangle ABC and X, Y, Z. They are identical right angle triangles. If we know that these two triangles are identical, right? We know that obviously this part is actually 18, right? Yes or no? And this part is actually 12 cm. Okay? Yes? Anyone has any problems so far? 
But I'm not sure whether this 12 cm and 18 cm, knowing these two, is it useful or not. Okay, the total area of the shaded part is actually 162. Find the area of the unshaded part. Okay, let's find the area of one triangle first, okay? One of the identical. So one of the identical will be half times base times height. Okay, this will give you, what's the answer? 100 and? cm squared. This is only for one triangle. Okay, let's call this this shaded part A. Correct? This shaded part B. No, this unshaded part, sorry. So for this triangle, I have this shaded part which is A and this unshaded part that's B. If this shaded part is B, what is this shaded part? A, right? Yes or no? Carry on. Okay, now, the total area of the shaded part is actually 162. So I know that 2A equals to 162, 1A equals to 81 cm squared. Yes? Correct? Will I be able to find the area of the unshaded part, which is 1B? I can, right? Because 1B is actually 108 minus 81, which is 20. Is it 27? Cm square. So, uh, I think I like this method. I honestly like this method. If you got two steps, then we have something to discuss. Okay, Isabel, something to discuss. Three steps. Because I also have three steps. It doesn't make your, your working superior to mine. How you know is how, why you do minus 12? Uh? This is 12. 18. But around how come it's 162 divided by 60? Flu, ah? Flu, right? Okay. Sorry, didn't, didn't qualify that. That one is a flu. Yeah. By luck, she got it by luck. Uh, please take note of the correct, correct way, okay? Ken? Right. Question 7. Anyone has any problem? I know, I know what you did. That's why. There's only that, that few limited methods of doing it. Most probably you already did another way. Okay. Question 7, no? No problem, huh? Question 8. Any problem? Question 8. Question 9. Question 9. Yong Chen, can you help her later? Question 9. Question 10. Question 10. Damio later, can you help him? Question 10, huh? Question 11. 11. Question 12. 13. Fourteen. Fourteen? Oh, no. Can you help him later? Fourteen. Question fifteen. Question fifteen. MRP later can you help MRB? Okay, uh Charlotte, can you help her? Question fifteen, only two person now. Huh? Question sixteen. Sixteen. Gabriel, can you help him with sixteen later? 
Question 17. Okay, let's go through question 17. Okay, I have Daphne and Ben uh, jogging at the same time along the track shown below. They did not change their speed throughout. After 40 minutes, Daphne was at a halfway point and Ben was uh, 650 meters behind. So we know that Daphne is here. Ben is here. So Ben is here. And he's actually 600 50 meters behind, correct? So Daphne actually took 40 minutes for here. She took 40 minutes to reach the halfway point. So she will require how many, how many more minutes to reach the end point, Colin out. Huh? Eight minutes, ah? Uh. Oh. I give you a discount, uh, copy this question 8 times. Or is it 80 times? Huh? 8 minutes. What's my question? Wait, wait, I give him chance first. What's my question? You can tell me my question, I give it to you. <coughs> don't say I'm unfair. You know the question or don't know the question? Don't know, ah? Uh. I think uh, 10 times are uh, to be fair. Later, people say I give him discount for no good reason. Cannot be unfair. Yeah. Okay. Eldon, what's the answer? 40 minutes, right? Because since Daphne took 40 minutes to reach the halfway point, from a halfway point to the end point, it will take another 40 minutes, right? Logical, because uh, she did not change her speed throughout. Correct? So, now... Now, I'm just discussing a question, okay? I'm not into solving it first. I'm just making you understand the question deeper. So, uh, definitely will take around 40 minutes to reach the end point. Now, when Daphne reached the end point, when Daphne reached the end point, how far is Ben behind her? Okay, Jack. Think before you answer. Eight. <laughs> eight minutes. Everything is the, is the answer eight minutes or what? How come everyone say eight minutes? Eight minutes. I don't even have. Uh, I am not even going through the question yet. I'm trying to discuss the question with you. Stop giving me eight minutes. Okay. Repeat my question. You can repeat my question. I give it to you. Okay, okay, I give it to you partially. Okay, Kaden, please. As this. As it help him, ah. Uh. Yeah, as this. Hey. You don't know as in you don't know the question or you don't know what? Do you know the question? Can you repeat the question to a class please? Okay, do you all hear what he said the question? Yes. You never hear the question? Ah? Oh, okay, but he, uh, he, he got my question. So can you answer me please, Bjorn? Do you all agree with him? Yeah. Why you laugh, Jack? For you don't agree with him. He got a correct answer. Why do, you, why do you laugh at him? Okay, my question is, when Daphne reached the end point, how far was Ben behind? And uh, Bjorn actually get, said it's uh, 1,300 meters behind. Okay, Alexis, tell me how did Bjorn get the answer? 650 times 2, right? Because midway, 650 meters behind. When you reach the end point, of course, you have another 650, right? Okay, so it's 1,300 meters behind. Okay, so when Daphne reached here, Ben is actually here, and this is actually 
1.3 km behind our 1,300 meters. Okay. Now, Daphne reached the end point eight minute before Ben. Okay. Daphne reached the end point eight minutes before Ben. Okay. So when Daphne reached the end point, she crossed the finishing line, hooray, and everything. So, how long did Ben take to reach the end line? Okay, when after Daphne crossed, uh, okay, okay, how long later did it take for Ben to also cross the end line or reach the end point? Okay, it's very simple questions, uh, okay, so, uh, Dylan Poe, do you agree with him? Yes. Because uh, definitely reach 8 minutes ahead, but of course Ben will reach 8 minutes later, right? So that means uh, in these 8 minutes, what's the distance traveled by Ben, Yun Song? 1,300 meters, right? In 8 minutes. So will you know... Uh, the speed of actually Ben. Yes, yes. You know the speed of Ben, right? Yep. Okay. So what is the speed of Ben? One thousand three hundred divided by eight, right? Correct. Okay. One thousand three hundred. Okay. Divide by. So the speed of Ben. Okay. Speed of Ben. Is actually one three zero zero meters divided by eight minute equals to how much you are saying? One six two point five. One six two point five meters per minute. Okay. But why is this step important? Okay, because the next thing we thing we want to do is we want to calculate the total time taken by Ben for the whole journey, correct? To find the distance, I need to have speed and I need to have time, right? Having the speed of Ben is not enough. I need to have the time taken by Ben for the entire journey, yes or no? So, time taken by Ben for the whole journey in terms of minutes, Kaden. From the drawing, you should be able to get it. Uh. Yeah. Huh? 80? Why 84? Why 84? How do you get 84? One six two point five multiplied by? Divided by? Here, sorry, six two point five. I couldn't catch you, Kaden. Do you manage to solve this question, Kaden? You did, right? You did, Jack. How much was the total time taken by Ben for the whole 88 minutes? 88 minutes. Do you agree with him? Yeah. Because the uh, first half 40 minutes plus second half 40 minutes definitely took 80 minutes, right? So Ben will have taken 88 minutes, right? Yeah. 8 extra minutes. 88 minutes. So 40 times 2 plus 8 equals to 88 minutes. Now, I can find a distance, right? Because uh, to find a distance, I get 162.5 meter per minute multiplied by 88 minutes. And what's the answer that I get? 14,300 meters. Okay, right, so it's, answer is 14,300 meters. 14.3 km is fine as well. I'm not sure, I didn't know how to do correction, so this is why I'm doing it. 
Why do you divide by 10? Because it was divisible by 8. <laughs> so anything. No, I didn't is, divide it by 10. I didn't no, I, no I, I, I'm asking why do you divide by 8? Then your answer to me is because it's divisible. Obviously, I see it's divisible, right? But, but why? Okay. I need to know the, <laughs> the understanding behind how you solve it. Of eight I understand what you mean by it's poor. Okay. It's poor. I understand what you mean by it's poor. Alternative solution? Yeah. It's poor. You're going by the sets, uh, which you shouldn't be. You should be using the formula, you see. Do you can see the way I'm solving? I'm solving based on the formula. Like also possible. Yeah, that's possible as well. Okay. Anyone has any problem with this? I think speed is one of our weaker topics. I realize that every time we go through a practice question, a lot of times you all encounter problems with speed. Okay. Now this is uh sorry. Oh. Anyone has any problem with this? Okay. If not, I'm. I think I will stop here for today. I'm going to continue with you tomorrow. Okay. Can you spend the remaining time to do your corrections first?